In this video, we'll delve into a fascinating comparison between two widely used refrigerants, our 134A and our 404A. So get ready to uncover the significant differences between them. Let's start with our 404A. This refrigerant is internally composed of a gas mixture, while our 134A is a pure gas consisting of a single component. This disparity in composition has a relevant impact on how they are charged in refrigeration systems. Our 404A must always be recharged in liquid state, due to its gas combination, while our 134A can be recharged in both liquid and gaseous states, without any inconvenience. It's also interesting to know the blend within our 404A, which consists approximately of 4% of 134A, 44% are 125 gas and 52% are 32. Both refrigerants work with PO-type oil, which is essential for their operation. Although both refrigerant gases offer acceptable efficiency, our 404A significantly outperforms our 134A in freezing applications. On the other hand, our 134A excels in medium and high temperature applications. It's crucial to consider these aspects when selecting the appropriate refrigerant for each situation. Another notable aspect is that our 134A is commonly used in air conditioning systems, while our 404A is not employed in this context. A major advantage of both refrigerants is that neither our 134A nor our 404A are flammable or toxic. Moreover, neither of them harms the ozone layer, which is essential for safeguarding our environment. However, perfection is not everything. Our 404A has a high global warming potential GWP, of 3922, meaning it has a greater impact on global warming. On the other hand, our 134A has a GWP of 1430, making it a more environmentally friendly option. Now, observe this intriguing difference on the screen. Focus on how the size of the capillary varies between our 134A and our 404A. This factor is essential when selecting the appropriate system for a specific application. It's also relevant to mention that the operating pressures of our 134A are higher compared to our 404A. Due to these pressure differences, they cannot be considered direct replacements for each other, even though both are used in refrigeration and freezing applications.